Let's consider the mechanism by which you can take a string and save that out to a file. I'll use my thumbtack here because we actually need uh, three different nodes from file I.O. And let's get those lined. So these three uh, create the file in the first place. They write to the file. Well, I guess we'll just consider this one first. That can be used to either open, create, or replace a file. That's where we actually send the data from the string out to the file. And when we're done, we need to close the file. So that's our standard three-step process for working with the file on the operating system. This one it's important to make use of the error cluster and error indicator because if something goes wrong trying to generate the file, you need to know about that. You don't just want the application to break suddenly. The main thing we need here is our file path. I'll create a control for that. And that's where I can type in the destination for the file. I'm going to create a constant for this. And what I really want is the option at the bottom. That is, we want to replace or create the file with confirmation. So that way, if, for, if the file already exists and we try to do a replace op operation on it, we get a prompt first before it actually wipes it out. The access type that we need is write only. So we've opened our file, and that produces uh, what they call the, the ref reference number, or that ref num out. And that gets connected to the ref num in of anything associated with that file. So the, the node that's actually writing the data, and then the node that's closing it. This one is really important. It says, uh, do you want to prepend some value with the uh, size, and we do not want to do that. So we'll create a constant and set that false. So we want to be able to take charge over exactly the bytes that end up in the file. Now the data type is uh, more or less generic. You can specify all sorts of different data types. So I will begin by first creating a string control, and I guess I'll do this indirectly by first creating the string as a constant and then changing it to a control. And you know what? I think we're done. So this is uh, sufficient to write the string out to our file.